Hi, and thanks for checking out Squiggle Park. My name is Lauren, and I am a teacher on Squiggle Park's summer teacher team. I'm here today with an idea for keeping your child's reading skills sharp over summer vacation. You see, when I talk to parents about summer reading, they usually mention trips to the library. That is a great habit, but don't forget, learning doesn't only exist within the walls of your local library. In fact, I want to share with you that teachable moments can also happen in other places as well. One idea I have for you is to check out places like local parks and school playgrounds, because quite often they have language and literacy building activities available on site right there as well. Here's an example of a school playground right in my neighborhood, which has an academic exhibit sort of like this set up for children to use. And chances are a park near you might have something similar, and it might be something that you and your children have, are overlooking. Now, you might look at this and say, how am I going to get my child to engage with that when there are swings and slides and other more high energy playground equipment options available? Or you might be wondering, what exactly are we supposed to be doing with this? And both of those questions are excellent questions. My main tip for you is that if you see any kind of academic exhibits on site at your park or your local playground, show some interest yourself. Then urge your child to participate with you through some strategic questioning. A simple board like this actually offers the opportunity to develop and practice five different types of literacy skills that your child's classroom teacher will be working on during the school year. Take a look at the chart over on the far right side of the screen, which gives you ideas of the skills that you could be practicing with an exhibit as simple as this. And here are some guided questions as well that you can ask to start off the learning process. Questions that start off like, what letter is that? Or what sound does that letter make? Are great for beginners in grades pre-K, K, or maybe even one. And for slightly older learners in grades one or two, being able to recognize sight words, produce original examples, and discriminate between letters are practice that your child should be easily able to do on an independent level at that grade level. For more tips and tricks for summer vacation learning, follow Squiggle Park EDU on Twitter. Additionally, reach out with any questions you might have at hello at squigglepark.com. In closing, thanks so much and have fun at the park this summer.